guys. So in this session we're going to be looking at making a paper mache bird. Now this guy's quite old. He's made of um, newspaper and kitchen roll. Has wire legs and that's air hardened clay at the bottom. We're going to use something slightly different. I'm going to use a plastic pot. So yeah, we're going to do something a bit like him. And what you will need for this is some tape. This is quite cool for the legs. It's You can snap it off really easily. These are barbecue skewers, so they're quite good. Um, haven't got the little pot to hand, but I'll show you in a bit. Some kitchen roll, really handy for the paper macheing. Some newspaper that you'll need to scrunch up to make the shape. Um, and some PVA glue. That will do for now, and we can paint it later. So I've got some newspaper and basically I'm going to start by rolling it up and using masking tape. So I've made the basic bird shape. It doesn't have to be totally realistic, so don't worry about that. As long as you've got a tail, a head and the wings, you might have to move it all about a bit to get the right proportions, but then you'll be there. I don't know if you can see that. Let's move the camera a bit better. There's so much newspaper here. <laughs> there. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay, so now I've got these two bamboo sticks and I'm going to try and use those and this um, sauce, little takeaway sauce pot as a base so it can stand up. So let's have a go. So now I'm going to put some kitchen roll paper towel and I've cut that into little strips. Um, this is quite good because it's you're going to see where it's covering the newspaper. If you use more newspaper, it's a bit hard to see where you've covered up and where the old newspaper is, if you get me. So there we go. Um, I've mixed up some PVA. You want it quite thick, so I wouldn't add any water to it. Keep it as it is, and you need an old brush. Okay.
So this is dried now and I've put lots of PVA on and you really want to cover it all. You can see there's a bit of newspaper coming through but that's fine but make sure you've used lots of glue and you've covered all of the newspaper with that paper towel. And what I did while it was drying because it was quite hard for it to stand up was to just lean it against something like that so when it does dry it's standing up otherwise you could find that it just falls over. So the next bit I'm going to do is just going to tape off around here and just cover that base. Okay, so I'm just going to let that dry and when that's dry I'm going to cut off those edges. So unless that looks right, that might look okay, but let's see. We'll trim that off at the end. And I've left the tail, can you see here? where the newspaper, where I rolled it up to make the tail. I'm going to leave it like that and maybe do something with those edges. Um, and that will kind of give it a more feathery look on his tail, so I quite like that. When that's all done, we'll get ready for painting. So that's all done. And you can see this is nice and dry and quite strong now and sturdy. I only needed uh, one layer of the kitchen roll. And as you can see here, I quite like that as it is because it looks quite feathery can you see so I've left the newspaper like that I quite like that touch it's quite sturdy on its base I might glue that again towards the end before I paint it so now I'm going to think about what colors to use if I show you the other one this one's quite old now but I've used lots of different shades it's not just one color can you see there's a bit of purple there a bit of white and I've mixed it in he's a bit dusty actually he's a bit of a dust down Anyway, so I think we'll go for a bit of a brighter colour for this guy. And I'm going to start with a yellow, but he's not going to stay yet. I want to mix in some reds as well and make it kind of more orangey. But I want to have different shades. So I've got some of these tubes. Now these are a mix of gouache, or gouache as some people call it, and watercolour. So that's gouache. This is watercolour. You can use poster paints as long as it's water based. Keep it quite watery. You don't want it too thick, otherwise, you're not going to be able to blend. So that's that. And I've mixed them on my palette. And I'm going to start off with quite a light colour. And we've got a I've got three different yellows here. I've got a kind of sunshiny yellow. It looks a bit green, but actually it comes out quite bright. And a lemon yellow, and that's a kind of deep yellow. I'm going to go for that middle one just to start off and I'm going to put it on quite watery. Here's my finished bird. What should I call him? Birdie McBird face, maybe. Anyway, look, I've left the tail kind of ruffled here. I've put some, some of this kind of tester paint um, on the base there. I wanted it a different colour than the actual bird, so it doesn't detract from his beautiful colours. in all his glory seems to go quite well with the other one doesn't he anyway enjoy yourselves <laughs> 